Uh, welcome to an interview with uh, Stefan Darbruck uh, in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, Stefan is a producer, manager, composer. Yeah, he will tell us some things about it. So first, Stefan, how, how did we met? It's, it's about 10 years ago. Actually, I asked a friend of mine, DJ Catch. He started like piano lessons and I was jealous. That's how it started. I think I just caught you. Yeah, right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's this year we started again when Corona started, you know, like then we did it like with home, home sessions. But I'm very sure, you know, like when I stop working with 65, I can, I can play. <laughs> not right. start then. <laughs> so what are your current projects and what happened uh, in the last I mean, that, years? It sounds crazy. <laughs> I'm uh, actually managing different acts, you know, like I'm managing big acts like Robin Schulz, Alle Farben, Hugel, uh, Klingon, uh, Larry Luke, Lovra, and many, many more, mostly like uh, DJs, uh, a, a few singers as well. But what I also do is like managing producers and songwriters. It's a big project as well, you know, at the moment uh, we're building, you know, like a big studio here in the middle of Frankfurt, in the really of heart of Frankfurt, in the middle of the Skylands, that's where our office is. And one floor up, you know, we're building like five studios, which I think are next level. And that's like, because I went to so many studios in the US. Yeah, and that's actually what I wanted to do here. I said like, we need a studio where really people want to go. You know, like, I know normally suits, of course, Mülheim, we have a nice studio as well, but Mülheim is like really far away from everything, you know, like, but we're in the center of Europe. We have the biggest airport next to London. Everybody is here. And I got so many calls back in the days, you know, like from different promoters and telling me, you know, like, oh, we have a room five in the city. Can we use your studio? Yeah, if they want to drive two and a half hours, they're welcome to use it, you know, like, but that's the reason we want to do something here. And I uh, said, like, if we do something, we have, we need to build the best studio what ever happened in Germany, you know, like technique wise, sound wise, sound wise, most in, important, you know, so, so we said like, what can we do? And we said like, then let's work on very specific sound. So we have MB Acoustic, you know, like who built most of the big European studios and uh, it's all about mathematics, you know, like, I mean, the, the walls are filled up with sand. It's a real room and room concept, you know, like, and we're looking for the perfect sound. We have like, uh, in Studio A, we have like three different uh, sound systems, studio boxes, you know, like we have like uh, Barefoot Master Sec 12, which like happened uh, twice that they sold it to Europe so far. Uh, we have Neumann, the big speakers, the middle speakers. We have a great partner on board with Cork synthesizers who uh, equipped us like with everything what is new and what is old as well. And yeah. So you've been looking for songs for yeah. your artists. Um... I mean, I was like, I was like kind of forced, you know, like to do that because seven years ago when I started with Robin Schulz, you know, like so he had these big super hit waves, you know, like which he found on the internet and he actually bootlegged it, and uh, then he had the second great idea to cover Pray and See. But then we have been looking for songs and it was the first time that we had needed like songs with really like where the lyrics fit. It was like singer songwriter music, you know, like back in the days when we did dance music, we did put your hands up in the air, one, two, three. But then it was different, you know, like so I was actually flying to New York, to LA to find these songwriters or to find songs. So I went to all these big uh, publishing companies. but. The big songs they never wanted to give us, you know, like they wanted to, they wanted to uh, keep it for Rihanna, Justin Bieber, or whatever. Or if they want to give it to us, it was like incredibly expensive, hmm. like really incredibly expensive. But I've, that what I saw then was like that most of the songwriters, two years before they wrote their super hit, they just had been broke. It was like you know, like like had nothing. And that's like the story, like about so many famous songwriters I heard. I already had like the studio guys already. So I said like, we need <clears throat> the writers as well. We need these guys two years before they write the super hit. So I made a list myself like six, five, six years ago. It was like different songs on it, like the Chainsmokers, like everybody from, from my scene, Are You With Me, Lost Frequencies, Avicii, and all these people who are a little bit around us. And 80% came from Nashville. So I packed my stuff, bought a ticket, flew to Nashville, and then I ended up flying in one year 20 times. Nashville. I really went from door to door. It was a great year because especially with Robin, we had two number ones in UK on the set, like in three months and also number two was uh, foul changes. So 
I had like a name and the people would listen to me. So yeah, and then I started like working with different people there. We, we started managing people. Well, um, short story, we opened up an office, you know, like my, my first employee there told me about the university, university where she went. That was like the Beaumont University. Uh, it's like one of the big like uh, uh, music colleges in, in, in the US. And uh, yeah, then. And then you started teaching at that university. So you've been yeah, I'm kind a, of professor right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm a kind of professor. I'm a, I'm a professor. You at are, Beaumont yeah. University, I, but, like, yeah. Uh, but I thought like if there are 250 like, people who are graduating every year, you know, like there has to be like the two super talents in business, producing or in songwriting. So I started wending to with my, my, my first employee there to the classes. And the first time I was, was in this class, you know, like uh, with Professor James from, from Bond University, there were been 15 kids or not kids, but young, young women and men, like 18 to, to 20. And uh, from these 15 people, I could 10 people give directly a record contract. It was so good. So I went from class to class. We did like big seminars, you know, like up to 150 people later. And I said like, hey, you know what? We try something. So we started just as a, as a try. I said like, okay, everybody brings a song next week. So like there have been like 30, 40 students, you know, who played us a song on guitar or, and we choose one. We said like, okay, you, get like a contract for me now. So back in the days it was with, with BMG. So I was working with them. So next week you go to Tommy Lee James, one of our writers, you know, like who made about 20 uh, country number one hits, uh, who wrote for Westlife and like a re really, really big, big, big guy in, in songwriting. And this girl, the winner, went to Tommy, looked at the lyrics. And the next step was like, I was flying in my uh, Giants guys, there we we hired the, the Ocean Wave Studios and um, we we worked on the productions with the students. Next step we went like like with the with the class. We explained everyone at university how a record contract looked, and then we went to Spotify. We went just like we went to every step. You know what you can do, and that's how we started our own songwriting program, like songwriting contest. And actually, uh, I was very what I was very proud of, and it took like years to build this up. Uh, this year we would have the first student exchange with Germany and hopefully we can do it next year if not it will start to, uh, 20, uh, 2022 again wow that's a big big program yeah yeah Mr. Professor Stefan Dapo yeah, that's, <laughs> that's great I can't write it on that, the body that, that's great <laughs> yeah. so what was the craziest phone call you ever received in your life is there something special in music class there have been so many so many crazy, crazy things. things. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, we've got not nominated for a Grammy. I sing first time, you know, like, like, so I've been, we've been nominated twice for small guys, you know, one time was Robin Schulz for Waves mm -hmm. and one time, a first time for a remix for Volksop was uh, our ex John Long. And that, that, that's, I mean, that's crazy shit if somebody calls you, you know, like that, you know, and uh, yeah. Cool, very cool. So you're, you're managing a lot of, of artists. Robin Schulz's mother, how does she like you? Is it okay for her that you manage him? Yeah, I mean, we're not married, you know, like, so <laughs> I think that it would be worse, you know, like, but no, I, I think I know his mother since day one when we met, like, it's nearly eight years ago, you know, like, and she's very nice, you know, like, she comes to concerts and everything. She's very proud of everything. Does she know, cook for you? Cook for Does me? No, cook for like, you? no, like the one who cooks for me is Robin himself because, like, he's uh, he's a genius, you know, like uh, uh, when he's when it comes to, to to grill something and everything on barbecue and wow. cooking. Yeah, Alfam, by the way, funny too, you know, he's a very great cook too. But like, but Robin is like next level, shit, you know, when it comes to I never ate, you know, like so much uh, good barbecue stuff, uh, like with him, you know, like wow, yeah. It's really interesting, yeah? Cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. cool. We've been working on some projects, you know, wow. in this direction. So some food questions, <laughs> talking about yeah, cooking and eating. That's a very sad story this year because I gained like over 50 kilos again. You wow. Know, like, I, lost, I lost a lot. I lost a lot and Corona really cut me this year. You know, like really, really badly. So, but I'm on the way. Do you like sunny side up or scrambled? Scrambled. 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 Surf or turf? Uh, 
Sure. Melons or peaches? Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no fruits. <laughs> Nothing healthy. Nothing healthy, you're right. No. And you're a great Star Wars fan. Great Star Wars fan. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a great Star Wars fan. I know what you what you want to, <laughs> I know what you want to talk about. Yeah, but like yeah, I'm I'm actually, you know, like I mean it's like a childhood thing, you know, like I mean everybody, everybody who was born in the 70s, grew up with Star Wars, you know. And yeah, funny wise, I met a guy who was like working with George Lucas for a long time. He was building up the costumes and and then I met this guy and he showed me, you know, like this original Darth Vader costume puppet two meters high, you know, like and very expensive and everything. Yeah, I ordered one. It's coming actually next week. So is there any message you want to give in those creepy times like Corona 2020? To all the yeah. artists out there. I mean, to... be positive, you know, like that's the thing what we do. We lost like 70% of our, uh, what we do every year. We say, well, you income, income, yeah, whatever, you know, like that's, uh, but you have to stay positive, you know, like, and you know, like you have to work double hard, you know, like, and that's what actually most of my guys are doing, working double and triple hard and finding new ideas and everything. And it's like, important as well you know like because if like you're a band or you're like like a dj or whatever you know like back in the days everybody was touring 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 because that's easy money you know like i know a lot of people who forgot to make music you know like um because they're just touring all the time and that's that's it's a, it's a nice comeback everybody's back in the studios with everything i'm very very sure we will come back to normal one day if it's not 20 uh, 21, you know, it will be 22, you know, like, and uh, every every disaster has a, has a chance as well, you know, like, so, no, it was not, not an easy year for everyone, but that's the reason we're building up studios and everything, you know, we go back to music, and as I think that's, uh, and that's what we still do, I still believe a hit is a hit, I still believe you need this super songwriter, you need a great musician, you need a great piano player, whatever, to make a... Uh, Beautiful music, you know, it's nothing about mathematics and everything, you know, like, and the reality shows it's like that. Okay, that's so, it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, thank, thank, you for, thank you for your time and thank you for the funny question. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for your time. Let's start, and let's start the piano lesson soon again. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Okay. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>